Hey guys, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're coming back, guys, thank you so much for coming back. I am super excited today. I say this all the time, but I really am. First of all, it's Saturday here in Southern Louisiana and it's Saturday morning. So, you know, I get to listen to my Zydeco. Do it every Saturday morning, krvs.org. It's worldwide. You can listen on the web if you want to. They play the first show. I can't pronounce the name. The second show is uh, the Zydeco Stomp with Herman Fugile. I'm gonna, I'll put that in the description just in case you guys want to go check it out. It's really, um, listen, I love music. I love all kinds of music. I can usually find uh, a song in almost any genre of music. And I've always been like that. Zydeco is good for the soul. That's all I can tell you. Zydeco is a feel-good music, um, and I just, I love it. So anyway, I'll put that into the description for you if you want to listen along. Can't play it right now while I'm doing the video, of course, because YouTube has, um, you know, regulations against that and background music and all that. And that's okay, because I don't want to go to YouTube jail. I want to keep doing what I'm doing with you guys. So anyway, as you probably saw from the thumbnail, I'm gonna work on the cookbook for a minute. I wanted to show you where I, where I was at with it. Oh, and you know what I meant to do? I'm so sorry, shoot. Anyway, I changed the fabric selection for the spine to a gingham at the suggestion of one of my subscribers. And I'm so sorry, I meant to go pull that information. I'm gonna go pull it and I'll have it pop up on the screen here. So, because I wanna give her credit for it. She said gingham was the way to go. And I had not even pulled a gingham selection. But anyway, I think she's absolutely right. I love it. And I mentioned on Angela the Crafter's live sale the other night that I messed up on the spine. and. The reason that I say that, I'll try to get this in the shot so you can see, is the glue, there's two things. The glue seeped out, like it looks stained. I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. Maybe with some appliques or something. I just don't know yet. Flowers maybe? Maybe I can do flowers. What do y'all think about it? Tell me what you think, because let me, let me pull these. I'll show you what I got. I have a few of these that I could strategically maybe place on the cover. Tell me your thoughts on that, because I it's 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 unsightly. Then the second thing I did, <laughs> oh my God, it was to get the holes aligned. Like I did a template, got got all that right. But whenever I went, I mean, look at the you can see it on the inside, which will be covered up, but. I massacred this, massacred this in the beginning. So I'm gonna have to get a tutorial on how we're doing the holes on a spine. I'm gonna have to really concentrate and watch that. I'm not, so anyway, so I do have a big crocodile. Let's see where it's at. Huh? I've been rearranging, kind of looking and rearranging some stuff here in my, my craft space. So I have the crocodile, so I know I can go back through and punch the holes. Now, before we get started on what we're gonna do today, I wanna show you guys something because this was something that was really confusing to me as a beginner. Pam at the Paper Outpost has a video specific to this crocodile and the other smaller crocodile. And she talks about how people have a lot of trouble with it and I've seen it consistently on YouTube. People have a love-hate relationship with the crocodile, crocodile. And I think part of the reason may be because we're not using the right eyelets or grommets, whichever one you want to call it. I, I think that the term is interchangeable. Eyelet or grommet, okay? And I'll, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to try to get close up to this so you can see. These are the grommets, eyelets, that came with my original smaller crocodile. okay? I'm gonna pull one out because I wanna show you in detail what I'm talking about. Now to get up and kind of see if this is gonna, 
cross over. Can you tell there that there's some splits in that rim of the, the eyelid itself? I hope that that's coming up. I can't really tell if it's coming over, if it's translating over, but these are called split top grommets and eyelets, okay? And I learned this the hard way because I got this whole box of little eyes. Now these are much smaller, but the concept's the same. I don't know which one's gonna show better because they're so tiny. I got them a few months back when Hobby Lobby was doing their big clearance sale. They were, they were getting rid of a bunch of stuff before they reset their floor plan. Everybody was running to Hobby Lobby and getting all kind of stuff. Do you see how this eyelet grommet has no split in it at all gosh i hope that's coming over that's the difference i think i think it is please comment down below it because a lot of you have much more experience than i do in this i just know whenever i use these no and i've tried the different settings in fact you may can see here I've ha I've written what setting to use on my on my uh, crocodile, so I'll know that's the setting for this particular size. That's the difference. When I use these, they they come out all wonky. They don't they don't flatten out correctly. They don't. It's just it's really it's kind of a pain in the butt to be honest with you. Let me see if I have more. No, none in there. But with these that have the split top. They work every time. They work every time. Now, do I think we or memory keepers are the only ones that have the split tops? I don't believe so. I will, if I can find a link that has, in Amazon, that has specifically split tops, I'm gonna put that link in my description. Okay, so I guess I have some homework. I should write these things down so I don't forget. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you for any newcomers or people who use the crocodile who feel like it's a love-hate relationship. Try that. And again, friends, if you know something more than this about this tool, because I saw Creator's Call has a few videos. Marcy at Creator's Call has a few videos on tools specific. So I was planning on going out and watching some of her videos today just to see if there was something specific to the crocodile. But share with us if you will. Okay, so today's project, I'm gonna put this out of the way, but just remember this is the book we're gonna start with. I'm so excited, and there's so many of you out there that are doing it too. I'm super, I just, I love it, I love it. So here are the guts of the book, okay? Jody Lee Creations here on YouTube did a tutorial on a writing board. It was, and I, I know it's done. I know a lot of creators do this, but it was the first video I had come across where she really focused on the writing board. And I love the, the concept. So the, you know, because sometimes like, of course, when you create the journal, there's a lot of lumps and bumps on the inside. So you just put your writing board underneath the page you want, you're actually journaling on, right? And of course, all y'all know that. Anyway, I said, I'm gonna do a writing board for my cookbook journal because it's, first of all, it's beautiful and it's just an extra element that it, it's just practical too. So I took, and listen, all measurements, I'm not gonna give out the measurements for this because your measurements are gonna be different. All I can tell you is my measurements of the writing board are gonna be smaller than the actual page. That's how I did it because I'm not, I mean, I just, I need it to be compact enough where it's practical to pull in and out. That was my thought process. 
comment down below if you have some other ideas or if you say like if you have specific measurements where you say listen if your page is going to be a five by seven then you need to make sure that your writing board is this because or you need to make sure that your writing board is at least one half inch less than your writing page whatever the formula if there is a formula out there please let us know but what i thought we would do today i took this is how i selected it this page is out of the cookbook okay and these are the actual children test helpers and they are all quoted here and i said this would be a such a cute page like such a cute front for my writing board i then just went out and pulled a scrapbook paper pad that i had and i made it i made this part which is going to be the back or whichever um the same size as the ins the inside of the writing board now i'm going to double up on this because it's a little bit like my cord my um oh see the word escapes me but this stuff whatever scream it out loud because i know y'all know what i'm talking about um this i'm just going to double up on so i thought what i would do i wonder if i should do a craft glue instead you think i probably should do a craft glue instead huh? yeah that, you think that make more sense i guess quick drawing let's try it why not um i don't know if you guys had a chance to see my video the other day about my secret santa the second present that came from my secret santa which was a cuddle bug so this weekend i will be here in my craft space playing with my cuddle bug and making some embossed paper and some of it's going to be from my my cookbook journal uh you know i've got some some thoughts on that I'm going to try out a few things, and I'm actually going to make a snippet roll, too, because I recently gave all my snippet roll away, so I need to make some more, and I want to make some more. I love to play with material, too, paper and material. Anyway, I don't know if you had a chance to see that video or not, but in that video, I shared some pictures of an incident that happened here on our property, and it was where a huge limb fell in the backyard, and I just, you know, said, it just is so so wonderful to me that 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 very next day that that happened which it wasn't you know wasn't tragic it ruined not ruined it didn't ruin the limb went through part of the roof of our bon ton pavillon we have a pavilion and that's what that's what i named it i name everything bon ton pavillon good time pavilion so it went through part of the roof but it it took out half of my grandchildren's playhouse tree house tree house well that half is is ruined and so but they have another half so we're gonna and i say we my honey <laughs> is working to uh redo that part so he's gonna take off the bad part and he's gonna you know kind of remodify the the good part that's left which will be good they'll still have you know part of it but here's let me tell you the blessing the the uh, silver lining my honey comes to me and he's kind of been suggesting this and i've i've not i mean it's not that i'm not appreciative i certainly am appreciative i just know he works very hard and i didn't want to see him with another project just for me so he's come to me before about adding on to my craft space because i have a little craft shed out here in our backyard and and i'm so appreciative i really am but he works hard y'all he really does and so i was just like well you know let's let's prioritize some other things or whatever well when this happened he said you know he said i'm gonna go ahead and start on extending your building because the supplies that i'm taking off because they got ruined we can't use them for the tree house i can use those in the extension of your building and we we will virtually have to buy m maybe a few pieces if anything at all and i'm just like 
how blessed am I, y'all? I mean, really and truly. <laughs> I just, I, I'm just over, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how else to say it other than I'm so thankful to have the relationships that I have and to be building the relationships that I'm building with you guys. Because it's all in a world that has gone crazy. <laughs> Because we have. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not going to get into all that. But I'm just saying. Y'all know what I'm talking about. In a world that's gone crazy, we have to glean and hold on to all those positive things that happen to us. All of them. And, uh, and he's a big part of that. So, big shout out to my honey for always looking out for me and taking care of me. You know? Anyway, so... Here's the uh, here's the glue board, the boards or the uh, cardboard glued together, and then what Jody and I'm gonna I'll, I will link Jody's tutorial video below so you guys can see how it's really supposed to be done <laughs> because this probably ain't it. But what she did, which I thought was so interesting, is she made it so, and I'm gonna glue it here in just a second. So when she did this, and I'll do it again, like spread glue on here, right? And then she took it and she went over like that so it caused the crease for her. <gasps> Y'all, it's little things like that that beginners, I don't know that. Like some, don't take for granted that beginners know all that kind of stuff, right? Cause we don't. I mean, how would, I don't know that. What a quick, neat little tip, right? I love it. Loved it. So thank you so much, Jody, for your videos. If you have not checked out Jody's channel, I would encourage you to do so. She's fairly new to YouTube and I have promoted her channel on my, um, on my community tab before. She's a great, uh, she's just an artist. She makes some, I, I was astounded, astounded that she was new to YouTube and that she had so few followers. And, and it was because she was new. So I try to promote those channels like that that are just, I mean, she does some magnificent work. I'm not steering y'all wrong either. I'm telling you that she, ooh, y'all, it is worth a look, no doubt about it. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna do this. This is the back side of it. So I wanna try to put this in the middle. Now, y'all remember what I say, right? If it's crooked, it's carries. Yeah, because that's how I roll. <laughs> See, look, it's crooked. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, well. Learning experience, right? Learning experience. It'll be all right. We're going to make this work. Yeah, I mean... You know, guys, I didn't even know what a brayer was used for, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess I kind of did because I'd used it in other applications, but not in paper. Certainly not in paper. Okay, I think I'm going to switch, or should I switch glues? I wonder if I should switch glues. Uh, maybe not. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Now, hold on, guys. Let me see something. Hold on, talk amongst yourselves. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's do it like this. Put some glue in here. Okay, the paper monkey. <laughs> Never prepared. Let's see. And I'm probably not in screen either, huh? Let's try this. What is up for y'all's weekend anyway? I don't know, I just, uh, we tend to do the same things, you know, the laundry, <laughs> meal prep for the week. Um, watch, I'm gonna show you. Oh, look, it, it's curving the cardboard. And I know I've heard other creators talk about that too, how it curves the cardboard. I'll have to put a big book on top of it, huh? I guess that's how you remedy that. Oh, it looks like, I wonder if that's the glue. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We've got some crinkles. Got some crinkles here. Let's see if I can find. Hold on. Ooh. 
don't know. Oop. Oh, so see, I'm so glad. I mean, I'm, I'm so glad that I, I'm doing this on a video because I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. So I don't know if this is because the glue has a high water content or maybe I should have used the uh, Barely Arts or the Art Glitter Glue. I have Art Glitter Glue and my Art Glitter Glue does not do that. So maybe that would have been a better choice. So keep that in mind, guys. If you, if you decide to do stuff like this and you're a beginner like me, just know that may become a challenge with the, um, the glue that you use. It may bubble up if you don't, if you don't brayer or, see, look, that's bubbling too. Okay, got some bubbles in here. Let me, let me do this. Nothing like, nothing like live on video, huh? Okay. All right, that's okay. We are, in, it's too late to turn back now, huh? But that's okay. Like I said, I'm kind of glad because I want, I, I really do want people to see the real, what, what really happens. I mean, that's for real what happens sometimes. I know I've heard Miss Edith talk about it, about uh, different glues and about how you have to use this certain glue for this application. If you use it on, you know, certain glues on acetate, it won't work or it will show. And uh, so I, I knew there was something about it. Obviously I didn't, <laughs> obviously I didn't listen well enough, but no, I mean, I would have known that about this glue really and truly. Let's see. Now, you know what I probably should do here? I wonder if I should cut that into a, uh, I think Jody did this. Oh, Jody, comment. But again, I'm gonna have Jody's video on here, guys, for you to look at. Go watch hers. Before you attempt it, I would strongly recommend that you watch her video because, listen, her writing boards, oh my God, they came out beautiful. I'm gonna cut it before I glue it this time. Just cut a little corner. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Miss Jody. Miss Jody, I'd love for you, if you watch this, I'd love for you to jump on and tell us, give us any little secrets or tips or anything. But please, y'all go go check out her channel. That little tutorial I'm gonna link is gonna be she she's very um it's just it's worth a it's worth a watch, I promise you. See, I can't talk and craft at the same time like a lot of you can. I, um, I'm always so amazed at that, you know. People are just talking and crafting, like Carol. <laughs> Carol at a Crinkle Path. She's such a great storyteller. And she's like telling her stories and, you know, like Gail Augustinelli. They're just chatting away to everybody. <laughs> I'm sitting over here. If you could see, my tongue is sticking out. I'm trying to concentrate so hard. And I lose my words. And <laughs> that's so funny. But I'm sure that gets better over time. Let's hope anyway. Or <laughs> I doubt y'all will stick around. Okay, so for this side, you know what I think I'm going to do, guys? I think I'm going to, I'm not going to use this glue. I'm just, uh, I'm hesitant now to keep you, not, you know, I mean, I'll use it in other applications. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my, um, to my art glitter glue because it just doesn't, it's never bubbled up yet on me. So let me, um, let me see how it's going to do. We'll do a test, a little test. And like I said, I guess I'll have to put a big heavy book on it. I just recently, you haven't seen this video yet. It's a haul. I think it's going to come, the video is going to come out tomorrow. But I recently hauled a huge leather bound Webster dictionary. It's beautiful. This book is absolutely beautiful, but it's going to be perfect to sit this on top of. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. 
It's like I can't. Um, okay, let's see. And if you notice, if you notice, guys, I'm back in my craft space. I um, I uh, tried to move to Studio B because the weather was so hot here in Southern Louisiana. And my AC out here, I felt like it was so loud and um, my phone was heating up and just, you know, some technical difficulties like that. And so I said, well, I'm just gonna move it inside to Studio B. Well, yeah, that lasted two or three videos and I was like, mm -mm. I, I need to be around my stuff. I gotta be around my stuff. So I moved it back. So I hope that the AC running in the background is not too bothersome to you and i really do appreciate you hanging around uh because i know i know it's an added noise i can hear it and then you know with people mowing their grass and stuff like that i know that that you can hear that too so see there's still some lumps and bumps but you get the concept it's not too bad for a first try huh i'm gonna love it I would, I'll tell you this, I think I would use, I would use a um, stronger cardboard, but this will do, like I said, this will do. I'm really, oh, y'all will like it. It's so cute. Yes. So anyway, so thank you so much for coming along with me. If you've hung out this long, I sure appreciate each and every one of you. I'm going to do this cookbook, this created cookbook in installments. So you'll see, I'm going to use the same thumbnail too. I, I debated on whether to do that. So I may just put like part one, part two, part three on the thumbnail. So it won't be confusing. So you won't think you've already seen that video. But anyway, um, so uh, this is the first installment of the cookbook. And I'm excited to continue to see where this goes. Well, guys, I hope that whatever it is you get to do today and this weekend, at least part of it's fun. I'm going to continue to be out here for the day, I think. Uh, I'll be back and forth, you know. I'll take a break and go do some chores and then take a break and come out here. But I hope that, um, that you guys get to have some fun this weekend. And we will chat soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.